All right, so game plan for today is we're here at the Ford dealership, the back lot, but we are looking for a truck because I figured, you know, I found out that the Mustang is not that great in the snow. So we need a, we need a four by four vehicle. So we have two options we're looking at today. This is actually the first one right here. Our budget, $20,000. So this right here is a F-150 uh, crew cab or a super, super cab, not super crew cab. 2.7 liter V6, six speed automatic, base interior. Pretty much both these vehicles are gonna be base. And then if you follow me this way, we have a 2024 Mustang. <laughs> wow. All right, right here we have, I think this is our favorite option. This is a, a very beautiful gray color. This is gonna be a V8 10 speed automatic. Um, otherwise pretty much the same. It does have nicer, I think one level nicer trim. I think the MSRP for this is 44. That one's like, I think 38. 37. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll put it up on the screen though. So uh, let's go in, let's talk to them. I would love to wrap up this deal nice and quick so we can go home. We have a busy day, so let's go. All right, Bernard Brown, how was test driving this one? The engine had kind of a weird noise. Did you get a video of it? I didn't. Um, not sure if that's just a belt or if it's like, like an engine tick, so. Um, and we can also only take it in the lot, so you can't really get up to speed to go through all the gears, check the transmission, because it's technically not inspected yet. But... They haven't done their 125 point inspection yet. So. But we're gonna go look at the other one. Yes. So, it's been done. We bought a truck. Plot twist though, it wasn't either of the ones I showed in the beginning of the video. Um, just to kind of recap, the V8 had a weird sound in the engine and the shifting wasn't good. So we didn't go with that one. We tried out the 27 six speed, shifted a lot better, it sounded nice, but there was no backup camera and like, it was like base base model and Morgan kind of needs a backup camera and sensors, so that wasn't gonna work. So there was another truck, um, actually I'll stay in this lane. There was another truck that we saw. Here, I'll also put it in quiet mode so there's no drone so for you guys, time. sorry. Also, it is Labor Day weekend, so the traffic is just insane. But anyway, so we saw a different truck, we talked about the numbers, and uh, we ended up buying that one. It was slightly more expensive, I think it ended up being like 25,000, so $5,000 more than what we wanted to spend, but I think it's definitely worth it. So we're heading back home. Uh, they're just finishing up the cleaning up the car and like detailing it, and then we're gonna go pick it up. So yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. So um, I will talk to you guys once we head there to pick up the truck. All right, so we finally made it back to the dealership, and this is our new addition to the family. A uh, 2019 F-150 SDX off-road edition, uh, super cab. 60,000 miles, 2019, comes with a warranty. It's, this is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost 10-speed automatic. Should, so it should get pretty, uh, pretty good gas mileage. Let's do this, let's, uh, let's start her up real quick. You guys can have a listen. Uh, yeah, if you wanna go to the front. Or the back. So I'd say it's a little louder than the uh, the Mustang. Oh. So uh, it has like this plastic stuff, kind of like bed liner, but not exactly, but also has a tonneau cover, which is awesome. 
don't have to pay for that. And altogether, the paint on this is very nice. I mean, for a used car with 60,000 uh, 60, miles, it has the uh, running boards for getting in. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's hop in and we'll uh, take it for a spin. All right, got the GoPro rolling over there. Just another quick look around at the truck. Dang, it looks so good. And I love the black color. I feel like the black color is gonna look the best with the, uh, with the Mustang in the driveway. There we go, look at this though. Let's see if it's gonna focus, tap. 60,000 miles, sync three. Lots of storage. Get this piece of paper out. We won't be needing this anymore. Actually, I'll pop that right there. Cool. Let me do the adjustment of the steering wheel. Oh, there we go. Cool. Nice. Windows down. All right. This is so cool. All right, he did put something on the uh, on the steering wheel and it's kind of sticky, but I mean, at least it looks nice, right? Oh shit, my mirrors. My mirrors are not adjusted. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring this guy in. Bring it down, it's pointing up at the sky. Hey there, little lady. That's a cute Mercedes you have there. Thank you. you Want to race? <laughs> All right, here we go. First highway test. So this one has, I'll, I'll go through the window sticker. I'll maybe put it up on the screen for you guys. This one does have a tow package, which is pretty cool. It has a extended fuel tank. So one thing I'm noticing on the Mustang, I feel like the, like the infotainment, cent, like infotainment center um, and like the dash and everything is, you know, kind of facing the driver. I feel like with, with this, it's like facing dead center which is, it's a little different because like when I look at it, I feel like it's kind of slanting away versus pointing towards me. Just something small that I've noticed between, you know, the truck and the Mustang. I know two very different cars, you know, they're, it's, you can't even really compare them. Just, you know, I'm, I'm just pointing out the differences, okay? All right, give me a break here. 450 miles to empty, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. The Mustang gets like 200 and the truck is at three quarters. So that's again the extended fuel capacity. I think this has like a 36 gallon tank. I'm pretty sure, I'll, up on the screen, it's up on the screen. Um, but yeah, 550 miles to empty right now. That is, that is something else. That is crazy. Wow. But yeah, it drives good. No issues so far. Doesn't have paddle shifters. That's all right. Uh, you can also do drive modes here, I believe, if you click it in. I'm not gonna do it right now while driving because I don't know what it does. Maybe it's like ejecto seat and I go. All right, we just got back. Let's see what Morgan thinks of the outside of the truck.
Really? I thought you ran over the hose. I thought so too, and then I think it was like one of these things. Okay, cool. Now that we're home, we can take a look at these two cars side by side. Wow, that is, that's the perfect color combo. That looks so cool. So it's got the new gen headlights. I think those came out in 2015. Nice tread on the tires, running boards, SDX, four by four. Look at that. Cool, let's, uh, let's just run through the interior again real quick. Um, it looks really nice. These cloth seats, Honestly, for cloth, they're really nice. I feel like they'll hold up very well. Um, unlock, lock, windows. We have, I don't know what that is. I think that's the mirror defrost. So you can heat up the mirrors in the winter time, to, like unfreeze them. Lights, automatic lights. The cool thing about these doors, they are 170 degrees. So you can open them up all the way like that, which is really cool. You have the uh, seats in the back. I think you pull this. There we go. Right, let me stick that up. All right. Honestly, it's not bad back here. You could definitely, if you're an adult, sit in the back here, no problem. I'm about 5'9", 175 pounds, and I fit back here, no problem. And the main thing is I wanted this for the dogs. So like the dogs can go in the back of the truck. We do also have some power right here, USBs. Oh, actual wall outlet, that's pretty cool. And then one of those cigarette 12 volts, I think is what it's called, cup holders. Cool. No way.